Pate reporting there from Chichester. Now, with Christmas a week away, more families in the south are turning to illegal loan sharks. The Office of Fair Trading says more people use unregistered money lenders at this time of year because they promise quick access to cash. Debbie Smart from Kent used one to buy her son's Christmas presents. It was more of a burly figure, and until I really got to know him, I was actually sending a friend of mine out to pay him because I was actually frightened of answering the door because he came across as quite, you know, sort of bouncery type of guy, you know, guy that's quite, can be threatening. Around 500 cadets from the Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst are braving the cold today to mark their passing out. The sovereigns. Well, licensed snow is one danger this weekend, the other his debt. This could be one of the busiest shopping weekends of the year. An average British Christmas can cost thousands, and it's often the poorest families who turn to a loan shark to get cash quickly. And the interest on that loan can be enormous. David Wright reports. Your mission, if you wish to accept it, is to make Christmas as perfect as possible without upsetting members of your family, eating or drinking too much, or spending too much money. Pretty tough when there's temptation everywhere. The pressure to deliver makes people vulnerable, and that's when the loan sharks start circling and you start gambling with debt. Debbie Smart needed money. She has a very poor credit history, but wanted to make her son's Christmas special. I do feel that I need to supply him with his presents for Christmas. I do feel that if it's not going to be up to a certain kind of standard, it's going to be, oh, well, so-and-so got this and so-and-so got more than me. Debbie resorted to taking cash from two loan sharks. One debt collector was particularly intimidating. He was more of a burly figure. And until I really got to know him, I was actually sending a friend of mine out to pay him because I was actually frightened of answering the door because he came across as quite, you know, sort of bouncery type of guy, you know, guy that's quite, can be threatening. There's nothing stopping companies charging whatever interest they want on loans. The best way to compare deals is annual percentage rate, or APR, which varies greatly. Wonga.com says their average APR is 2,689%. Another site, QuickQuid, offers 2,278% APR. The high street banks are more likely to be under 30%, but they'll be more cautious about who they lend to. Of course, there are more traditional places on the high street where you can liquidate your assets. Pawnbrokers like this one in Gravesend will take something like a watch and give you cash in exchange. They'll then charge you interest on that money until you either decide to let him sell it or buy it back. James even had a bottle of whiskey for a few weeks because the owner needed some cash to tide him over. People come in, they feel, you know, embarrassed, and they shouldn't, they shouldn't be, you know, so, oh, I hope no one see me come in and all the rest of it, and, uh, you know, I say, that I'm not going to bite your head off. They just need a short-term loan yeah, just to get through at uh, the end of the month, say, payday, and, you know, there's, there shouldn't be no stigma. Debbie eventually found help with Kent Savers, a credit union and a not-for-profit organisation. They helped her with a loan and a chance to start saving. When people borrow from us, we're trying to help them to change the way in which they're dealing with money. And an important feature of what we do with many of the folk who borrow from us is we get them to save while they're paying back. So once they've paid back their loan, they actually then have a savings account with money in it. Saving is no longer what people are thinking of doing. And we're trying to encourage people to save rather than get themselves into heavy debt. We live in a society where credit is king, but sometimes, all that glitters is not gold. David Wright for Meridian tonight. Now, if you do have money worries at the moment, please speak to someone at the Citizens Advice. They can be contacted on citizensadvice.org.uk and on the site you can locate your nearest branch. If you live in Kent, the credit union Kent Savers can be contacted. It's kentsavers.co.uk. A ninth person arrested in connection. This is usually one of the biggest shopping weekends of the year. People can spend hundreds, even thousands of pounds on presents. And it's often the poorest families who rack up huge debts. Many turn to loan sharks where interest rates are incredibly high, as David Wright reports. Debbie Smart needed money. She has a very poor credit history, but wanted to make her son's Christmas special. I do feel that... 
I need to supply him with his presents for Christmas. I do feel that if it's not going to be up to a certain kind of standard, it's going to be, oh, well, so-and-so got this and so-and-so got more than me. Debbie resorted to taking cash from two loan sharks. One debt collector was particularly intimidating. He was more of a burly figure and until I really got to know him, I was actually sending a friend of mine out to pay him because I was actually frightened of answering the door. There's nothing stopping companies charging whatever interest they want on loans. The best way to compare deals is annual percentage rate, or APR, which varies greatly. Wonga.com says their average APR is 2,689%. Another site, QuickQuid, offers 2,278% APR. The high street banks are more likely to be under 30%. Pawnbrokers like this one in Gravesend will take something like a watch and give you cash in exchange. They'll then charge you interest on that money until you either decide to let him sell it or buy it back. People come in, they feel you know, embarrassed and they shouldn't, they shouldn't be. You know, say, oh, I hope no one see me come in and all the rest of it. And uh, you know, I'll say that I'm not going to bite your head off. Debbie eventually found help with Kent Savers, a credit union and a not-for-profit organisation. They helped her with a loan and a chance to start saving. When people borrow from us, we're trying to help them to change the way in which they're dealing with money. And an important feature of what we do with many of the folk who borrow from us is we get them to save while they're paying back. David Wright for Meridian Tonight. Drunk drivers in North Kent and May